He said, well, let me get more, some, some more cigarettes, because Mommy's cravings are terrible now. She's going to bring little brother and sister into your life. That's right. She can't drink now. <laughs> oh, my God. This is really, it's gotten, yeah, that, by the way, let me know when that stops. Yeah, well, our parents drank like fish when we were. Right, that's, why I, that's why I have water on the brain. That's why our brains are small and rattle around in our heads, I'm told. It so I'm not, right, my, my head is, is, is grotesquely large <coughs> because of that. Will any insurance company cover this kid? I just even turning down any claim. Uh -uh, we see what you do with the kid. We're not paying for this. Now I'm afraid. That in California. Early. Wait, no, hold on. That's, uh, that's not California. It's the other one like California. <laughs> Anywho. Imagine she's the kind of chick that says stuff like that. Mm hmm Oh, it's John Brittany. <laughs> that was her darkest uh, moment. Weird. Strong Brittany. <laughs> Yeah. Just Yikes. We yeah. all have them. I guess we all have them, except we don't all have to live them out. We don't all have them on network television with Barbara Walters sitting next to us. It's true. <laughs> Wait. That was pretty much when she was riding high. Now, that started the descent. Aw. Do you think she'll ever have another best-selling song or album? I don't think she will. She's Elizabeth Taylor now. We're going to make fun of her until she's dead. She was funny on A Will and Grace. Was she? She was good. Was that on? Did they do those I, already? I, yeah, I can it tell. It was on a few weeks ago. I'll, I'll admit that, yeah, Crossroads couldn't get to the first five minutes. But honestly, if you see that Will and Grace episode, kind of because she was almost playing herself, but she it, she was very funny and good in it. I well, think. that's because everything around her is good on that show. Well, but if we should see it. I'll bring in a tape. She'll come back, I predict. May 16th. Mark it down. She needs to be in a comedy, though, not a drama. <laughs> She's too good to be <laughs> kept down. <laughs> yeah. Her music. Well, her music is all producer music. Yeah, not doing any of that. No, but it's the same guys who do everything. It's like, it's like you know, those people on American Idol, and you're like, well, who's Randy Jackson? That's who Randy Jackson is. He's doing stuff like that. Simon Cowell, they're, they're producing songs that are popular. Like that. If Madonna can... Todd Rundgren. What is Todd Rundgren doing? He's producing songs yeah. that are popular. Maybe she should she get together with Todd Rundgren. He's the best. <laughs> yeah. Raquel, you're on WLS. Hey, Raquel. Hey, bro, this is West Suburban Raquel, by the way. Hello, West Suburban Raquel. <laughs> I haven't spoken to you since uh, Michael Jackson trial. Anyhow, you know, people should give Britney uh, a break. You know, at least she's raising her own child, unlike all those other stars that have nannies and mannies and, you know, have foreign people raising their kids or whatever. At least she's raising her own kid, and she'll get it right eventually. I hate to, be, I hate to sound overly optimistic, but, you know. Well, actually, you know what? Really. This is the funny thing. Anybody who's a parent, you think back upon the mistakes you made raising your own kids. Yeah, right. You know, whether... Yeah, they found a baby seat. Right, right. whether it's a baby... Well, I mean, it could be a baby seat thing, because, you know, like dads, especially, who are responsible for getting the baby seat into the car in the first place. Yeah, exactly. And they give up halfway through, because no baby seat is, you know... The, the baby seats are not made to fit into the back of cars. The way that the seat belts are done and all that. I mean, right it's, it, the thing just doesn't really work, so... So there's got to be, you know, so you know that there's, and you, you find out the mistakes were made, you find out you had a martini the night you're supposed to give birth. I mean, you know, there are things that happen. You know, it's so sad because her mother this probably said to her, make sure you put him in the baby seat because then the paparazzi going to be all over you. And she did it, and now they're still all over. Right. Yeah, you know what? They should start looking at Whitney Houston. Well, they want to start examining her and, like, poor little Brian You know what? Well, I'll tell you, yeah, here's why. Here's why we don't look at Whitney Houston because it's so gosh darn depressing that you you, 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 you you have to avert your eyes. It's now sad to look oh, at Whitney yeah. Houston. Choir we're thing. still kind of enjoying this because this chick doesn't... We're enjoying the fact that she's oblivious to the fact that she's an idiot. <laughs> and then we can watch that. I mean, let's face it. The the uh, the thing with... Um, uh, you know, the thing with her... With her whatever he is. Kevin husband, Federline. Yeah. I mean, who among us does not see that coming to a crashing halt any second now? That, that was a bad move, and I don't even know, what, what did her parents say? I wonder what her parents said to her when she said, Hey, Mom, I'm going to marry this guy who has two kids out of wedlock. Oh, by the way, the, she's pregnant. I, I mean, like, I don't know what her parents told her, but they did not give her good advice. Well, it was better than the first marriage. Yeah. That's the way they looked at it. Better than the guy in the bathtub in Vegas. <laughs> you know what? I would have taken the guy in the bathtub over Kevin Federline. He is a scum. Oh, thank you, Raquel. <laughs> thank you, welcome. Marie, you're on WLS. Hi, Marie. Hi, how are you? Um, you know what? Everybody's talking about the fact that the kid was facing the wrong way. Don't you find a little odd that her top was down on a convertible? 
Is, doesn't that present a little bit more danger too? Well, the kid is in a in, in, a, in a car seat. I mean, when the when the when the car is sure. upside down, uh, the kid will be properly strapped in. One would hope. <laughs> but his baby's I breath, just yeah. I found that a little shocking. Like I think it's it's yes, She was just going. Listen, mom, Marie. She I, she was just going down the block to get the cigarettes. I mean, they weren't going that true. far. That's true. I think that she's lacking a lot of common sense as well as. A lot of other things. I think you, is point. Th that is amazing that you think that. I, I'm so shocked. <laughs> I, that is such a that is such a heroic and brave position on your part. Oh yeah. Thank you, Marie. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Right. Although it's true. I mean, I had a rock hit my windshield and crack it. Imagine what that could do with a kid's head. Listen to you guys. Yeah, but she'd get it first. <laughs> Great. She wouldn't even feel it. What was that? She come home with a gigantic rock sticking out of her forehead. You know, honey. I don't have a craving for a cigarette right now, and I don't understand why. But I will have a martini. What's the baby do? Uh, Elizabeth, you're on WLS. Hey, Elizabeth. Hi. I was just commenting. I, you know, all parents have made mistakes and stuff when they, you know, with their kids. And I had, when I was pregnant, I had a doctor at the hospital I worked with who was a pediatrician tell me, you're going to make mistakes because he was watching his daughter, and he put a cloth diaper on, and... He put the pin through her skin, and he couldn't understand why the baby's crying. Why is she so upset? <laughs> and and he told me, he goes, you're, you're going to make mistakes. All parents do, and it's, you're human, you know. I don't think she was really putting her baby in danger, do you? Uh, well, you know, here's the thing. I mean, the, the, the problem with the picture is that the baby's head is is kind of, you know, down in its chest. Oh, okay, yeah. But now at I eight months, it. now wait a second, but you see at eight months... Uh, at eight uh, months they should be sitting up. Once. Yeah, at eight months they can sit up. Maybe he was putting his head down and they just happened to take a bunch of shots yeah. to see what would look the most dangerous. I'm sure the first time she had the baby in her lap, that wasn't good. I didn't like that. But the, I haven't seen the second one, but at eight months the baby can hold his head up. What, you're not supposed to have the baby in your lap and let it dry when they're six months old? <laughs> no. You know, maybe yeah. considering who this baby's parents are, he has a supersized brain that makes it harder for him to hold his head up. Yeah, I don't know. Don't you think his yes. mother? Oh yes, let's he's... get the generation. Yes. Hold yeah. on one second. That's absolutely, Bill. You're a genius. That's yeah. absolutely correct. <laughs> it has the Federline Spears genes. <laughs> All right, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Man, Honey, you're not gonna believe what's in the paper today. I keep reading the tabs that they're that, that she threw them out already or something, or they're getting oh, yeah. divorced, or oh, yeah, out. I heard that too. Even with her with child. Yep. Well, that that's when the last one ended with with the other chick that he was with. She was having the baby. Was like, get the hell out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your breathing annoys me. I'll stop that. <laughs> Kathy, you're on WLSI. Hey, Kathy. Hi, how are you? You know what? You guys really need to get off her case because what they told me when I got pregnant the first time is that your first baby is a mulligan. It's a do-over. It's right. what you may call the mistake, and that's the one for me that fell off the bed. That's the one that fell in the bathtub. That's the one you learn off of. Yeah, right. The first one is and, and that's the one that always becomes the president of the United States, too, so that's why you feel a careful. You're listening to The Rocon Show on WLS. Weather traffic sponsored in front by Centegra Health System. Mostly cloudy, a chance of shower thunderstorms tomorrow. Overnight low 48, tomorrow's high 72. I should say mostly cloudy tonight, but who do you care if it's cloudy tonight? I, I, it's going to be dark. Yeah, it's dark. Okay. Inbound 43 with the Steel Bridge, there's an accident. Higher than usual travel times out there on most of the roadways. In Orland Park, Wolf Road is closed between 153rd and 159th with an accident. Down to Grove, Butterfield, and Finley, an accident. If you're heading in on the Edens, it'll take you about 55 minutes. Lake Cook to the junction, outbound, 25. Your Kennedy, 30 out to O'Hare, inbound, a 55-minute ride. The Eisenhower, an hour to the north-south, totally one hour, eight in. Stevenson to the north-south, a 45-minute ride back in, 50. And your Dan Ryan holding at 40, outbound is 28 in. This report brought to you by Panasonic Digital Cameras. Every Panasonic Digital Camera features optical image stabilization so you can capture spontaneity, not blurriness. See for yourself at Circuit City Stores, Panasonic Ideas for Life. I'm Christy DeFiliaggi with WLS Traffic. It's too hot. It's always been a very bad girl. It's too intense. 
Haven't you shot someone? It's too big for just one city. She's a world-famous celebrity who tried to murder somebody. The two-hour season finale that goes from Boston to Los Angeles. I love L.A. It's always not guilty. Michael J. Fox joins Emmy winners William Shatner, James Spader, and Candace Bergen. An all-new Boston Legal, the two-hour season finale. It all begins tonight at 8, followed by ABC 7 News at 10. That's all I want, ABC 7 News. I always watch Channel 7 News at 10. It's the best news team in Chicago. I love Ron Major. A1, first split. He knows what's going on. I like Kathy Brock. A great journalist. He really cares. Cheryl Burton, she's awesome. She gets to the bottom of it. Love Jerry Cat. He's hysterical. Martin Greco. He's the guy to watch for sports here in Chicago. Channel 7 is the best. They're like family. They got it all. Channel 7, baby. Watch ABC 7 News at 10. People make the difference. Get this. Me and Lloyd. Hi, how are you? Have the same health insurance, same acid reflux. Erosive acid reflux disease. Thank you, but his medication... Uh, Protonix. Pantoprazole sodium. Has a copay that's less. Less than similar brand name acid reflux medications. His doc says one Protonix tablet every morning helped control daytime, even nighttime acid reflux symptoms. And Protonix help repair acid reflux damage. In our plan, you save. Protonix copays are not less than generic drugs. Prescription Protonix heals acid-related erosions in the esophagus and relieves associated frequent and persistent heartburn. Most patients heal within eight weeks. Your results may vary. Doctors may prescribe Protonix longer to maintain healing. Studies lasted 12 months. Other serious stomach conditions may still exist. In studies, the most common side effects were headache, diarrhea, and gas. Go to SaveWithProtonics.com or call 877-5-PROTONICS to learn more about protonics, acid reflux disease, and savings. See our ad in the Saturday Evening Post. Ask your doctor if protonics is right for you. There's only one thing sweeter than the luxury of a four-star hotel. Knowing that you got it for a two-star price. After all, there are deals to be had, and why shouldn't you have them? At Hotwire.com, we believe you can have your pillow mint and eat it too. That's why we get you four-star hotel rooms for up to 60% off. How do we do it? Hotwire.com has exclusive deals with three- and four-star hotels. When they have unsold hotel rooms, they give them to Hotwire.com. And we give them to you at prices lower than any other travel site. Guaranteed. Like four stars in Chicago, Orbit's price, $169. Hotwire.com price, just $88. Or three and a half stars in St. Louis, Travelocity price, $79. Hotwire.com price, just $49. Log on to Hotwire.com now, because a few hundred dollars saved on your hotel room is a few hundred dollars you can spend painting the town. Hotwire.com. Live large, travel smart. Hotels on Hotwire.com disclosed only after booking. All bookings are final. Details on site. Hey, Ashley Davis. Moving across the state, huh? Well, Ashley, since your so-called friends have so-called prior engagements that don't involve helping you move heavy furniture, let us simplify the rest of your move with AT&T Movers Advantage. It's your single source to change your address, set up utilities, and more. We can help with all of it in one easy step. And right now, we're offering something special. Unlimited nationwide long-distance calling and high-speed internet for under $55 a month when you order online. So that's Ashley's world. For everybody who's not Ashley, if we can deliver a simpler move to her, we can help you too. Make the move from your old cable company to the new AT&T and get three months of high-speed internet free. Just go to att.com slash move. Oh, and Ashley, loading a sofa by yourself? We're impressed. SBC is now the new AT&T. Your world. Delivered. Taxes and other charges in the FUSF cost recovery fee extra. High-speed internet will come to after three months paid service. For details of additional charges, restrictions, and requirements, call one 877 toll free or visit att.com slash details. Not available in all areas. It's been long hours, dedication, and questioning everything. It's been hard work and a lot of fun, and we wouldn't change a thing. It's the once-in-a-lifetime Toyota Launch Spectacular, featuring the largest debut of four new models in Toyota's history. And while you're there, check out Highlander, the SUV that's been named a 2006 Consumer's Digest Best Buy. We took Highlander one step further and made it available with the fuel-efficient hybrid synergy drive system. When it comes to taking the family on the road, Sienna is the way to go. It's the only mini van that was named double best pick by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. These are some of the great Toyotas we're featuring at the launch spectacular. There are 16 Toyotas in all, but hurry, it all ends soon. Toyota, it's time to move forward. Just visit your Toyota dealer today. 
Ratings based on 2006 IHS for frontal offset and side impact test for passenger vans. Frontal ratings are only meaningful with different vehicles in the same weight class. See www.ihs.org for details. Hello, would you like to be more successful with the opposite sex? I'm Ted Baker, and my program can teach you how to attract a mate. Listen to this. Ted told me about logging on to freecreditreport.com. I learned that my good credit could help me buy a car and a boat, and now chicks dig me. My patented system could work for you, too. Log on to FreeCreditReport.com to get your free credit score and report. A nice condo could make you irresistible. Get your free credit score and report with enrollment in Triple Advantage at FreeCreditReport.com. Get the score. I think the last time my kitchen was updated was in the Stone Age. Then I learned about cabinet refacing from Sears. Their styles look fabulous, and it only takes about four to six days to install. Call now and save $500 on select cabinet styles. Offer ends July 1st. Call Sears Cabinet Refacing, 1-888-SEARS-21. That's 1-888-SEARS-21. License numbers available upon request. Not available in all areas. Ask for offer and written limited warranty details. Tonight, a broken neck and heart surgery in one year. But Pulitzer Prize winner Studs Terkel isn't slowing down. Studs at 94. Tonight on WGN-TV News at 9. WLS. Chicago's last word in talk. Mark Levin, weeknights 10 till midnight, right after Sean Hannity on Chicago's talk station, 890 AM WLS. All right, Jim Johnson. You got the news. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. Chicago's talk station, 890 AM WLS. Rain likely tomorrow, high 72. I'm Jim Johnson, WLS News. Well, the illegal immigrant smuggling apparently not confined down to the border states. Police say it happened here today. They'll obviously be checked uh, as far as their background is concerned. If they are uh, non-criminal aliens from Mexico, they may be offered the uh, privilege of voluntary return back to Mexico. What that means is that uh, they would be uh, probably flown to the, the border with Mexico and then escorted across the border. That's Carl Rusnak with the Immigration Department here. Several people in custody after 20 people were found crammed into a covered pickup truck. It happened today at the O'Hare Oasis on the Tri-State Tollway. Well, the head of a Northwest Side construction company has been stabbed to death. Our Jennifer Kuyper has more. Jim Gary Potter, head of Potter Construction and Development was stabbed in an office just after 8 o'clock this morning. One person who works in the building on the 5400 block of North Cumberland tells ABC7 the owner was stabbed by his employee for giving a bad review. A second person who tried to help Poder suffered stab wounds to the arm and hand. One person was arrested at the scene and is being questioned. Jennifer Kuyper, WLS News. Well, where do you think this trial is going to head? Testimony began today. Albert City at the uh, federal building. This is that City Hall case, a corruption trial of Mayor Daley's former political hiring chief, Robert Sorich. Our Bill Cameron was in the courtroom. Now we're beginning to learn how the fix was put in for jobs and promotions. Mary Jo Falcon was on the stand. She handled personnel for the old Department of Sewers. She told the jury she would go to Sorich on the sixth floor of City Hall 25 or 30 times a year to pick up the blessed list the list of the politically connected who were to get the sewer department jobs. Jim, she testified she changed the ratings to make sure the blessed got the highest ratings. Hmm. All right. Thanks, Bill. Richard Hatch, who won that million dollars on the Survivor, was uh, on Survivor, was sentenced to four years, a little over four years in prison today for not paying taxes on it. It's uh, never been fully explained. How that would have actually been Richard's uh, boyfriend who would have been on the Survivor. All right. Uh, it's never been fully explained how he thought he would slip this by the IRS. Traffic and weather coming up. WLS News Time, 607. How do people react when we tell them about points from National City, our new banking rewards program? I like that. Maybe it's because it's the best banking rewards program around that lets you quickly earn valuable points for day-to-day -day transactions. All right. Things you do already, like using your Visa check card or credit card, paying bills online, even writing checks. That's all you have to do to get points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you redeem the points for loads of rewards. Everything from gift cards for great stores to luxury vacations. I like that. Points from National City, the banking rewards program that lets you earn points for the things you do every day. Best of all, it's free. Visit nationalcity.com slash points to find out more. All right, let me see it again. That's nationalcity.com slash points for details. All right, all right. At National City, we want to...
want to make banking simpler and more rewarding. Member FDIC. Warning, if you're about to buy hardwood flooring, you're going to pay too much. That's right, if you're buying top quality hardwood flooring in oak, cherry, walnut, even pine flooring, you're about to spend hundreds, even thousands more than you should. How do we know? We're lumber liquidators, and nobody sells hardwood flooring for less. To prove it, we'll even send you our beautiful full-color catalog absolutely free. It's filled with valuable information you must see, and it's yours free when you call 1-800-200-7768. At Lumber Liquidators, we ship top quality flooring directly to you. Even Bellawood, the pre-finished hardwood flooring with a 50-year warranty. That's the hardwood flooring home improvement expert Bob Bila installed in his home. And if it's good enough for Bob Bila, well, if you're looking at hardwood flooring, don't pay too much. See how to get more floor for your money. Come see us at 1460 East Algonquin Road in Arlington Heights. Or call right now for your free catalog. 1-800-200-7768. That's 1-800-200-7768. 1-800-200-7768. WLS, the talk station with frequent traffic updates from Christina Filiaggi. And Jim, uh, traffic a mess out there. Roads are wet in, uh, in Bloomingdale Army Trail Road and Glen Ellen Road, an accident. In Orland Park, 155th and Wolf, a structure fire has both closed between 153rd and 159th. And in Downers Grove, you still have an accident at Butterfield and Finley, Buffalo Grove. Half day road still blocked between 83 and Buffalo Grove Road with an accident. Inbound side of the Edens, Lake Cook to the junction, 55 minutes southbound, 25. Downtown out to O'Hare on the Kennedy a half hour. You can save about two minutes in the express lanes. Inbound 50 O'Hare to downtown. Eisenhower 43 minutes out to the north-south tollway, but it's an hour in. Your Stevenson to the north-south tollway, a 45-minute ride inbound 43. Dan Ryan 40 out to 95th, back in a 28-minute ride. I-57 is okay. The Ford Freeway is going to be heavy outbound from 111th all the way to 8094. That's because of a uh, semi accident on eastbound 8094. Inbound Ford's going to be heavy right around the steel bridge with an overturned vehicle accident off to the side and the crews blocking two lanes of traffic. Lakeshore Drive still slow in both directions and traffic heavier than usual on all the tollways, especially on the south end of the southbound Tri-State. That's just a mess because uh, that delay starts past Cicero all the way to uh, the Ford Freeway. Eastbound 8094 heavy from the Ford to just before the state line. A semi-split in half that's sitting in the right lane westbound back to Philly Met to Wentworth. I know it's a mess. Eastbound I-80, Crawford to the Tri-State is your delay. This report brought to you by National City Bank. At National City, you don't have to wait for a sale to get their low rate on a home equity line of credit. You get it any day that ends in Y. Stop by any National City branch today. Equal housing lender. I'm Christina Filiaggi with WLS Traffic. Just ahead, yes, more of the Rocon Show, but first the three-day forecast from the National Weather Service. Cloudy tonight, 48. Chance of thunderstorms tomorrow, 72. Chance of uh, light rain Thursday, 65. Partly cloudy Friday, 68. Right now, 64 at O'Hare, 62 at Midway, 56 downtown along the lakefront. WLS is the talk station that keeps you informed. Our next news update at 6.30, but breaking news, whatever it might happen. I'm Jim Johnson, WLS News. This hourly segment is sponsored in part by Sam's Wines and Spirits in Lincoln Park, Downers Grove, and a new store in Highland Park. Visit samswine.com. For details. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. Chicago's talk station, 890 AM WLS. happening today, I don't even know where to tell you, but I can tell you that if you'd like to go to WLSAM.com, you could take part in the big Rocon Show Golf outing, the Carnival Cup 2006, held at beautiful Cog Hill Golf and Country Club. Ooh, upscale, uptown. Yeah. yeah. Fancy boy. In Lamont, Illinois, and that is going to be August 18th. I know that's a long ways away, but we've already sold out one of the golf courses, and right now we're, we are... Uh, Getting closer to selling out uh, the big one, the big, Dubs. the Dubs Dread. That's something. Yeah. Going like hotcakes. Your claim earlier in the show is you expect this to be the most fun thing of all time. Yes. For the show, it probably will be. Oh, because for the show? Of what I comes after golf. 
Christina. Hard enough. Brace yourself. <laughs> I know. In the, uh, we are going to do the In the Rough Throw concert live on Plugged and Uncensored. And your fees for this, who you'll have to pay to attend the uh, golf outing, uh, your fee will benefit the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation. Great prizes, great food, great drinks, great everything. Brought to you by Arvidsson Pools and Spas in the Marriott Chicago Midway. And we already know that our show will be taped and sent by the NSA right up to those satellites, and we'll go in that giant information bin to be used against us someday, so just take me now. I've called the Northwestern girls' soccer team about possibly making an appearance. They've not called back yet. They're all tied up. That killed in rehearsal, too. <laughs> good one. Step outside. <laughs> that's a good one. All right, so uh, so I, I, I do tell you about that. That's going to be uh, that's going to be very good. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm just going to roll through a couple of these announcements. This is like mm -hmm. that, that part in school where you make announcements. Yeah. All On right. The intercom. Do you mean the announcements? Yes. <laughs> Usually three tones preceded. I don't know if you have that ability to ding, pull. It. Ding ding. Mm -hmm. Attention, students. You can win a 10 night, 11 day fantasy vacation to Italy featuring Rome, Florence, and Venice from Select Italy, the ultimate source for travel to Italy. Purchase a $100 Naperville Rotary House of Dreams charity raffle ticket between now and May 21st. We'll put you in a special drawing to win one of thousands of valuable prizes, including first class tour of Italy from Select Italy. Valued at ten thousand dollars. What? Ten thousand dollars. Whoa, that's pretty good. Next announcement. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. That's a great one. Yeah. WLS presents "Rockin' for the Troops." The Lieutenant Dan Band and Gary Sinise, star of CSI New York, "Rockin' for the Troops" will be held on July twenty-second, eight p.m at Cantini Park in Wheaton. MC will be Eileen Byrne from the Midday Show on WLS. Proceeds benefit Operation Support Our Troops. Oh, I hope she dresses like a Northwestern soccer player. Ex... Ex... Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Experience the pathos and pageantry of Civil War days at the Naper Settlement, 523 South Webster Street in Naperville. Experience this epic time in history when a family four-pack of tickets to the Naper Settlement. Go to WLSAM.com. Now, usually there's a sports score. They, they usually tell us that our Bengals lost to the Titans last night, 86-14. to 14. <laughs> Bengals <laughs> off to the Titans last night, 86-14. to 14. Mm -hmm. WLS presents Arlington Park Ya Betcha Derby. Throughout the summer, go to WLSAM.com. Tell us which horse you like at Arlington Park. Each week we'll feature a different race, and all you have to do is tell us which you think will win. Get free admission for just playing along. WLSAM.com. That concludes these announcements for the Rocon Middle School. Boy, I couldn't get enough of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really animated. This, this, this is kind of like a middle school. This is like middle school. On acid. With booze is yeah. basically what this is like. Let's get Christina in the closet again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like you never did that in middle school. And there's not as much head lice either. Oh, I don't know if that's true. Jim, tell, One, it, tell the truth. I've got a special shampoo now. There are, there, we have some headlights, but not as much as in middle school. We also have these emails, too, I'd like to share with you. Oh, I hope, I love, hope they're good. Emails are always good. Emails are always good. Uh, dear, and by the way, these are not, uh, these, these, we did not in any way pre-read these. Mm -hmm. Just hand these and go read these emails. Oh, God, that's bad. We get emails. Dear Ro. Dear Ro, if you think Charlie Sheen is such a quack, why don't you invite him on your show and debate the 9-11 issue? Maybe, because all you know is what you've been told. If you don't know how to think for yourself, grow some balls and try debating the issue. I've done for every time I told you that. Signed a guy with a fake name. <laughs> What's that? A guy faked his name, Corey Kahn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no relation. No fake relation. 
We invited uh, Charlie Shane a number of times to appear on this show to debate this. Mm -hmm. A number of times. And he refuses to appear to debate it. He has too many court appearances. Yeah. Maybe once the NBA playoffs are done, he'll have more time. Uh, this is from Kurt in Manhattan. I'm assuming Illinois, not New York, but I never know for sure. Do some investigative reporting and find out how many of the Northwestern soccer players are Glenbrook North grads. Yeah, they'd be on the fast track to get on the team. Well, many of them are. They're downsizing their hazing. Actually, i got to tell you something. Some of those uh, chicks that were hazing the underclassmen looked like the girls from the Glenbrook North video. You remember, those girls were kind of thick, too. They were, weren't that? they? Yeah. The girl got hit in the face with the fish. She was like the hottest thing on the... Uh... <laughs> now, that, that girl's probably a CEO somewhere now. How many right. years ago was that? That's four years ago? Four or five years, yeah. Those kids are probably in medical school by now. Right. Remember we were working for them. Right. It's Dr. Yang from uh, Grey's Anatomy. The one swing in the mackerel. <laughs> I don't know what she... She works over at Davis Street Fish Market. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, dear Roe, I just want to add some uh, add to one of the caller's questions on why Mexico does not have nice grass. The reason is because they use human waste for fertilizer. I hope that's urban. Man. I'm not kidding. Ooh. And I eat their tomatoes down there on water. Oh! <laughs> the salad bar at the Olympic. Oh. Those aren't tomatoes. <laughs> My mother will not buy anything from Mexico in regards to tomatoes, lettuce, etc. Oh! I actually have, I, I don't know if it's human waste, but there is waste used uh, for fertilizer, and they have had some problems with yeah, it off. Yeah, take like off the big fresh tank, vegetables though. and stuff down there. All right, and uh, this, final, uh, this final email that we received, boy, do we get emails. Is Vincente Fox related to Triumph the Insult Comic Dog? <laughs> mm. That's from John in Montgomery, Illinois. <laughs> Good question. I don't know, next time he's here, why don't you ask him that? I just missed him. Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah, the Charlie Sheen thing, I'll go back to this. We started the show with this today. The Charlie Sheen thing is based on the fact that that the uh, Pentagon has released a, uh, a video of the plane going in to the Pentagon on September 11th. Now, there were stills before. There's right, and this is, well, this is kind of a moving image, and it's, it is grainy. Yeah, it's hard to... But Charlie Sheen and his ilk, those who are September 11th deniers think that somehow they you know that the explosion in there was based on internal combustion that there no plane actually hit it how come there's how many ever saw the plane well, the eyewitnesses there were hundreds of eyewitnesses he'll still find a way to argue that it wasn't oh, a plane right. where did bought. the plane go why didn't we find the plane because it was in the building you morons he's an idiot yeah can i say that yeah oh yeah thank you denise richard yes okay <laughs> go hilltopper isn't she hilltopper no, she was no, Downers, Downers Grove. Grove. I always make this mistake. I know, you always are, you can mix me up with Arlington Heights and Downers Grove. I don't know why I do that. I don't know. Well, Arlington Heights are the hilltoppers too, aren't they? No. Oh. They're the only hilltoppers. Well, maybe not, but... Did probably. your announcements in high school sound like that? No hilltoppers. A little bit. Yes, they did. I would have been that announcement guy, you know that. <laughs> Is that your second career choice? Were you head of the AB <laughs> club also? <laughs> I know. I, I want to read announcements at high school. Right, exactly. <laughs> I'll volunteer to do that. I would have done them as Osama bin Laden. Hello, students today. I would like to announce that the Romans will be playing the Colonels at 430. In the big soccer match. You're going to love it very much. <laughs> Then there'd be rustling. You'd hear it in the halls on the, on the speaker while they grab the wrestle, the little microphone. I'm done, I'm done, I'm not finished. Are you going to never going to make it any place in the world? There was no tolerance at all for goofing around during those announcements. That was the most staid thing in the world then. That's true. I don't well, know why. Your mother except she's at the doctor. <laughs> Todd actually, uh, I can't tell it's her. Uh oh Why? Oh, don't do that. Todd made a mistake. Uh, he were the faces in the story. He did the announcements at, uh, where'd you go? Argo? Argo High School. And, uh, the, by the way, they destroyed all of his records there. That's for the best. Yes. Uh, Argonauts. Yes, exactly. They were the Argonauts, weren't they? Yeah. Well, makes sense. And Darren's girl was the Mustangs. Oh. People are calling now. We're the Mustangs, man. <laughs> That's why they said <laughs> we're the only Hilltoppers. You might be. No, I think there are others. There's I'm two sure downers. there are. Joliet Catholic was... Right, they're, they're hilltoppers. 
Anyway, where the hell is the story going? To go he, uh, Todd was did the announcements, and he mispronounced Mr. Cook's name. What? You know, the guy's name was Mr. Cook. Yeah. The teacher. Yeah. Mm. K-O-C-H. And Todd, oh, who's oh. not the best speller in the world. Uh, long, long O. Uh, <laughs> short O, short O. <laughs> now, Mr. Cook, I could say that. But when I do it like this, you know. I was hoping it was a long O. No. <coughs> My. Yeah. And next thing you know, fast forward, he's our producer. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, let go of me. Hey, what's going on? Did his Q rating go up at the school after that? <laughs> his ratings, his ratings was through the roof. He had a sick show that day. Oh, my God. <laughs> Were they high-fiving you in the halls on that? Yeah, I'll bet. Hey, man, my career's over, man. Except well, for Mr. Cook, who didn't find it as funny. Yeah, not as funny. Todd, you burned white hot. You were like a... Right, that, we had that star. one day. It was like Gordon Cooper. <laughs> he had that one day. Where he was the, the, he was the best DJ alive. Mm -hmm. The best announcer reader ever. <laughs> anyway, uh, they released these... Uh, the, the Pentagon released... I don't know how I get away with this show. The Pentagon released these... Uh, the, released this video of the plane going in and... and uh, now they, I don't know where these people are going to get off now. Where's Charlie Sheen going to stand on it? Conspiracy. He's got a backup conspiracy. You still think so? Right. That somehow the CIA was behind this. He'll call a hooker and find out for sure. He thinks there was no plane ever. Yeah, that's that's, in that case he does, believe me. Right. In that case he does. Once again, where did all the people go? Now, the video they released, though, it, it's one that it's like it's almost like time-lapse photography, right? Yeah. It's not the full... Right, and this is like a, a series of frames. It's right. Like a frame every half second as opposed to every 30th of a second. Mm -hmm. Much easier to fake, Charlie would say. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, the whole thing. The whole thing's a conspiracy. Don't you worry about it, people. The whole thing we made up, the, the U.S. government made the whole thing up so they can go into Iraq and steal the oil. The people yeah, that's really working. Yeah. We're, we're supposed to be on flight. <laughs> And that's like just vanished into thin air. That's a right. more that's, believable you know, theory. That's the problem. This is so, so screwed up now that even the conspiracy theorists can't go, well, no, that's exactly how they planned it. Well, kind of. Or we were going to get free oil. Well, the oil companies. We, we did it so we can create an oil crisis? So the oil companies can make money? Oh, well, yeah. Ironically, flight attendants, pilots, and passengers just disappeared that day. Everybody went along with it. <laughs> well, you know, the government, they can get away with that stuff. It's true. You need everyone to go along if you want it to work. It won't work yeah. if everyone does it. Exactly. Everybody has to stay with the story. All right. And then, uh, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know it's going to be. But, we have, but anyway, to answer your question, sir, we did. We have invited Charlie a number of We've had a lot of conversations. Todd's now best friends with his publicist. But I think the publicist like him. Like, God. Charlie is like out of his mind. Do you want to walk on in two and a half men? <laughs> Todd is going to play. <laughs> Todd is going to be a party goer at that at that kid's birthday party. <laughs> Before it's all said and done. I offered him ten bucks to say Mr. Cook's name on the episode, but he won't do it. The Rokan Show on WLS. Although you could get a picture of Charlie's the internet. Uh, WLS weather and traffic sponsored in part by Constellation New Energy. Mostly cloudy, 48 tonight, and then a chance of showers tomorrow, high 72. Christina. Tomorrow, Buffalo Grove, Half Day Road, still blocked in 83 and Buffalo Grove Road. Oakland, Cicero, and Southwest Highway, an accident. Bloomington, or Bloomingdale, still uh, quitting on the scene. Army Trail Road and Glen Owen Road. Orland Park, Wolf Road, closed between 153rd and 159th. With a structure fire, your Eden, 50 in, 25 out. The Kennedy, only 20 minutes out to O'Hare. Inbound, 38. Eisenhower's 40 out to the north-south, so we still an hour in. Stevenson, 38 minutes out to the north-south, 40 inbound, and your Dan Ryan, 35 to 95th, 17 minutes in, inbound four to the Steel Bridge at Accident. This report brought to you by Office Depot. Now through Saturday at Office Depot, buy a digital camera over $199, and you'll save $50 instantly. Office Depot taking care of business. Excludes clearance and bundles. See store for details. I'm Christina Filiaggi with WLS Traffic. Right now at WLSAM.com. The latest on the Rocon Show, Carnival Cup Golf Hobby. Eileen Burns, Texas Hold'em Poker Tournament. See and hear Conan O'Brien's visit to WLS and the Rocon Show. And to make sure you're getting your free WLS Insider Newsletter, enroll today at WLSAM.com. Brought to you by Auto 
AutoZone. If your car's check engine light is on, get to AutoZone. You can borrow AutoZone's engine scanning tool for free to help you identify the source of the problem. Get to AutoZone today. License number 6759340. Hey, are you still sitting around with a high interest rate on your mortgage? Well, soon you might be kicking yourself in the head. I'm John Shibley, president of Linux Financial. Rates are definitely on the way up, but you haven't blown it yet. They're still great. Linux Financial can refinance your mortgage and pay all your closing costs down to the last dime. We're not going to roll them into the loan. We actually pay everything for you. Listen, you're going to spend thousands of dollars in interest over the life of the loan. We're making plenty of money. We don't have to stick it to you for the closing costs. Linux Financial will refinance your mortgage for free before these rates go up. Then we'll sit back and watch. When rates drop, we'll do it again. When you're not investing thousands of dollars in closing costs, there's no barrier to refinancing. We've refinanced some guys five times. They've never spent a nickel. Lower your rate, pull some cash out, or convert to an interest only, and do it for free. No closing costs. It's the biggest no-brainer in the history of Earth. Call Linux Financial, 312-277-5000. That's Linux Financial, 312-277-5000. Does your luxury vehicle come with full maintenance covering the cost of any needed service? Of the top five luxury brands, only BMW has a plan that does. Maintenance on our competitors can run into the thousands. You see, BMW covers your entire vehicle, including wear and tear items, for four years or 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. Just drive your BMW to an authorized dealer and it'll be serviced. No additional charge. Plus, usually a BMW only needs to be serviced every 15,000 miles, so maintenance isn't just included, it's convenient, too. BMW full maintenance. Full coverage, no extra charge. Oh, and don't forget what it's covering. Beyond maintenance, there's full maintenance. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. For complete details on full maintenance, call 1-888-311-4BMW or go to BMWUSA.com. All new BMWs have full maintenance, which covers oil changes to brakes for four years or 50,000 miles. Visit your authorized Chicago or Northwest Indiana BMW Center or call 1-888-311-4BMW for details. Seven, seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. That's cars with a K. We're a recognized 501c3 charity organization, so you'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a free vacation voucher of three days and two nights. One eight seven seven cars for kids. K A Hit musical and the untold story of the witches of Oz. Popular, I know about popular. Popular, USA Today calls Wicked a triumph. And Time Magazine writes if every musical had the brain, the heart, and the courage of Wicked, Broadway really would be a magical place. Now, this Grammy Award winning blockbuster has cast its spell over Chicago. Wicked at the Ford Center for the Performing Arts. Oriental Theater. And nobody in all of us, no wizard that there is or was, is ever gonna bring me. Call 312 902 1400 or visit BroadwayInChicago.com today. Because the longer you wait, the longer you'll wait to see Wicked. Sponsored by Chase. Hey, Greg, Mary, your new hardwood floor looks great. But how did you get it installed so fast? We called Empire today. 800-588-2300. You know how I hate to go shopping. Well, Empire brought samples of durable hardwood and easy care laminate right to our home. They have so many rich natural wood tones to choose from. And because we shopped at home, it was easy to match our decor. 800-588-2300. Okay, level with me. Was it expensive? No way. With Empire's Warehouse Direct prices, we save money. Plus, no payments for one year on approved credit. Visit their website at empiretoday.com for details. Let me get this straight. Shop at home, next day installation, Warehouse Direct prices, and no payments for one year? Honey, we know the phone number. Let's call Empire today for our new flooring. 800-588-2300-Empire. 
making money in real estate. Moving to Saturdays, 10 to noon, for two hours of valuable information from Joe Aldiger and his team of experts. This is Joe Aldiger. Let's get rich. WMS. This is Mark Levin. Listen to Sean Hannity tonight at 7, then me from 10 to midnight on Chicago's talk station, 890 AM WLS. Jim Johnson's got the WLS News update. 72 tomorrow, but a chance of rain. Well, looks like a win for President Bush in the Senate. The Senate has scuffled several challenges to his guest worker program. That's one of the things that he wants. Uh, Democratic Senator Byron Dorgan complained the bill will let illegals uh, come in stamped as legal, but uh, looks like the president's going to get his way. Now, the sister of the American airline pilot, American Flight 77, says she doesn't think this newly released video of the 9-11 Pentagon attack will do anything to dispel conspiracy theories. The uh, officials have released a kind of a turkey-jerky video of Flight 77 going into the Pentagon. Uh, this uh, sister of the pilot says, look, nothing's going to change these people's minds. The newspaper that first reported on a government roundup of those phone call records, that's USA Today, says it wants a closer look at those denials today from several phone companies. AT&T has joined Verizon and Bell South. They all say that they did not hand over customer information without warrants. And an embarrassing incident for the BBC television in London where they were doing a live interview with an expert on Internet music downloading. At least they thought that's who he was. Turns out they'd accidentally called in the wrong guy from the waiting room. They actually had called in a Congolese man with a thick accent who had just showed up for an interview for a behind-the-scenes technical job. Ironically, he did pretty well, sat there on television, answered all their questions. He looked a little confused why it was on TV. Meanwhile, the real expert was in the waiting room, 6.35. I hate to wait. When I want something, I want it now. I can download music to my PC instantly, day or night. Why shouldn't I be able to do the same thing with movies? Well, now I can. With MovieLink.com. With MovieLink.com, you can log on and download the movie you want whenever you want it. No waiting for it to arrive in the mail. No sending it back. No subscription fees. No late fees. And once you have it on your PC, you can take it anywhere. Got a sudden craving to see King Kong? No problem. Log on to MovieLink.com and you can be watching Kong on your PC before you know it. Or walk the line or Brokeback Mountain with thousands of other top Hollywood movies. So what are you waiting for? At MovieLink.com, you can download movies anytime you want. To rent or own first-run Hollywood favorites. Log on to MovieLink.com today and get 50% off your first download. Just enter promo code DEAL at checkout. Go ahead, turn your PC into your own personal movie theater. My own portable movie theater with thousands of movies at my fingertips? Hello? Terms and conditions apply. This is for Karen and Kent Gregory. You know, they say career changes, marriage, and moving are three of the most stressful things in life. So, you two newlyweds have moved across country to open a restaurant, huh? Well, AT&T can help with AT&T Movers Advantage. It's your single source to change your address, set up utilities, and more. We can help with all of it in one easy step. And right now, you can get high-speed internet for just $12.99 a month for 12 months. So that's Karen and Kent's world. For everybody that's not them, if we can deliver a simpler move to them, we can help you too. Make the move from your old cable company to the new AT&T, and you'll get three months of high-speed internet free. Just go to att.com slash move. Good luck, Karen and Kent. You're braver than me. SBC is now the new AT&T. Your world. Delivered. Taxes at the charges of your QSF cost recovery for extra. High speed internet will take up only after three months with service. For details of additional charges, restrictions, and requirements, call 1 866 416 6471 toll free or visit att.com slash all for details and available in all areas. Independent insights for investors. Brought to you by Smith Barney. Ethanol. If you listen to, read, or watch the news, better yet, if you drive a car, you've probably heard quite a bit about this gasoline additive and its possibilities for the future. Yet even if ethanol does fill more of our tanks, does that necessarily mean it will fulfill its promise? Investors who want to better understand the role ethanol could play in America's future should get a copy of Ethanol, an antidote for America's oil addiction, by calling 1-800-SMITH-BARNEY, extension 3. Which companies stand to benefit from the increased interest in ethanol? which may not. The report examines the potential for individual companies as well as the chemical industry in general. To get your free copy of Ethanol, an antidote for America's oil addiction, call 1-800-SMITH-BARNEY, extension 3, or visit smithbarney.com. Smith Barney and Citigroup Investment Research are divisions and service marks of Citigroup Global Markets, Inc., member SIPC. 
Now here's Bruce Vale at the Wall Street Journal for a look at the markets. Hi, Bruce. Well, hi, Jim. Stocks declined just a bit today as investors weighed a drop in home construction last month and some mixed earnings reports. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell eight points, closing at 11,419. The Nasdaq Composite was down nine, and the S&P 500 fell just two. Oil prices rose slightly today. Crude for June delivery gained 12 cents to close in New York at 69.53 a barrel. The Commerce Department said new home construction was down 7.4% in April, and that hit the lowest level since November of 2004. Deere & Company said its second quarter profit rose as the results were aided by the sale of its health care operations. Deere's profit rose to $744 million, or $3.13 a share, and that beat Wall Street estimates. Shares of Deere gained 2% today. And Caterpillar said it will acquire railroad parts and services concerned progress rail services for about a billion dollars, a move that will expand the equipment makers' fast-growing remanufacturing business. Again, the market just mildly lowered today with the Dow down eight points, and Jim, the Nasdaq fell nine. Thanks, Bruce. WLS, the talk station with frequent traffic updates from Christina Filiaggi. And Jim Johnson thinks they're still pretty busy out there on most of the roadways. If you're driving Orland Park, Wolf Road, uh, this block to 153rd and 159th because of a structure fire that is being reopened at Buffalo Grove, though Half Day Road remains blocked between 83 and Buffalo Grove Road. That's because of an accident, Oak Lawn accident, Cicero and Southwest Highway. And uh, Bloomingdale Army Trail Road and Glen Allen Road, an accident still at that location. The inbound Eden's a 50-minute ride, outbound 25. The Kennedy, just 20 minutes out to here. It's 38 in. The Eisenhower's 38 to the north-south, so way back in an hour. Stevenson, 38 to the north-south. Inbound trip there, 40 minutes here. Dan Ryan, 35 out to 95th. 17 back in. I-57 is okay. Your Ford Freeway outbound heavy. 111th all the way to 8094. That's because 8094 is so bad. If you're driving on Lakeshore Drive, that's still going to be slow north and southbound. And rush hour traffic still pretty heavy on all your tollways. 8094 eastbound, that's heavy from the Ford Freeway to before the state line. Right lane still blocked there with an accident. That's why the south end of the southbound tri-state's worse than usual. Eastbound I-80 of the Crawford to the tri-state. This report brought to you by the New York Times. Employers looking for team players. Find them at the New York Times. Salute our heroes, veterans, job fair. Coming to Navy Pier on May 17th. For info, visit nytimes.com slash salute our heroes. I'm Christina Filiaggi with WLS Traffic. Just ahead, more of the Rocon Show, but first the official three-day forecast from the National Weather Service. Cloudy tonight, 48. Chance of rain again tomorrow, 72. Light rain Thursday, 65. Friday, no rain. Partly cloudy, 68. Right now, 64 at O'Hare, 62 at Midway, 56 downtown along the lakefront. WLS, the talk station that keeps you informed. Breaking news whenever it happens. I'm Jim Johnson, WLS News. <laughs>
your life is now over. Just one. Fell, we got he one. Fell, well, we, he thinks it's just one. Well, oh, but it's one. Did you, uh, now when you went to the store, I didn't go with, they, they, I, they, I he drew the line. I, I, I don't do <laughs> I, There's no way I could have done yeah, that. Yeah, you screwed that up too because you, what you needed to do here was go to the pet store and ask the guy, well, this is a male, right? Oh, yes, sir. It's absolutely a male. We can tell. And then he comes home and about three weeks later, there's nothing but a bunch of little hamsters in the cage. Yeah, I, there's no way I could have done that. And the biggest problem, the, I have a list of 34 problems that have started because of this. The number one is they recommended that so that this hamster wouldn't get fat, that you get the wheel. Like, you know, they used to have a metal wheel, but it's now it's all fiberglass. Yeah. yeah. And it, I don't know, if, I guess the Hamster Olympics are coming up because it does, it runs right after the gay games. <laughs> actually, Very it's ironic. actually, it's right before the gay games. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had that wrong. It <laughs> runs in the wheel all night hey, long. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> this isn't a tunnel. Does it make noise? It, yeah, the, the, you, you hear the wheel. They got they brought the hamster home last night, and then it 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 ran the wheel all night long. It didn't. I mean, it would stop for a few minutes, and then when I, oh, I forgot Bill's in the other room sleeping, and then get, went back on the wheel. That yeah, didn't stop. Very what do you do you live in a tent? Well, you can't close the door? Yeah, but, the, you know, the girl's room is right across the hall. Get a fan. <laughs> really? Like how he's I don't mean just somebody who listens to the show. I mean, get a fan. Get a fan. All right. What's yeah. the hamster's name? Uh, Fluffy. I didn't name the hamster. It's two nine-year-olds naming the hamster, so it, it was Actually, it's I'm, su I'm surprised you didn't, because that's sort of kind of your level right well, there. Well, not good at naming pets either. My name for the hamster can only be said during the show that we do uh, on the, at the Canarble Cup. That's the only time that my, the name that I recommend it can be said. <laughs> Listen, I was four when I named the, the turtle. The turtle Speedy. So. Not six. <laughs> but you you added sensitive irony there. Right. I mean, that was great for a four-year-old. Yeah. Was that right? It was a sense that was like being ironic. This, this animal is fluffy, right. so, it, you know, there's no irony at all. If you... Since you hate this animal so I, much, Yeah, I do. Love your daughter, but hate the animal. Now, if you snap... Not sure predict, about that, by the way. If you snap, as we predict, yeah. and you go in and kill the hamster in the night, which will probably happen, have you done... How do you think that balances out? You've gotten in the pet, which was a good act. Murdering the hamster in front of them is a bad act, but do you think that this still shows that you... I would never... I would never murder the animal. I could see a day where I would release the animal into the wild. Okay. If the, the wilds of Evanston? Along the lakefront? <laughs> yeah. Loxy, Loxy, yeah. hang right. Into, into the wilds of Sheridan Road, and I would show the hamster the pictures of what's going on there at Northwestern, and the hamster would go, I'm in, and then just head towards the door. Yeah, okay. you actually should just release it into that dorm where those pictures were taken. So you would say your cover is the hamster escaping and is living a very happy life. Yeah. They thrive in these 20 degree below zero days along the well, way. Well, it's a fun, it's a, it is, it's got a lot of fur. Okay. Yeah, it'd be fun. I would make a nice muff or a, maybe one, one nip. Yeah, it should have, it have been, could have been useful. This is a worst case scenario, of course. Right. Probably won't happen. Then a kid sleep with one eye open, I imagine, knowing that dad may come through the door with a baseball bat. They don't ever want to come down in the middle of the night to see the, the uh, knowing that the hamster's dumb cause, done because it's floating on the top of the boiling pot. Is it a human Pez dispenser? Does this thing go all the time? Uh, <laughs> I really didn't spend that much time observing it. They wanted, they kept calling me in going, hey, Dad, he's he's doing. Doing. Look, he's, he's, look, he's looking his own privates. <laughs> It doesn't do many tricks. It's just no. silly. Did you get a Did you get a hamster ball for it? Yeah, uh, that was a gift on Mother's Day. You got to follow that around with a with a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> it has to have air holes. Yeah, it comes out. It, it has built-in air holes and it glows right. in the dark. Yeah, but you got to honest to God because it'll it'll leave little little oh, hamster. No, no. Hey, they don't get housebroken. No. Predictions till the girls get tired of that and when I don't. I no. We that was one of the. Before the agreement was signed, and I had the hello to the Brisbane brothers who are listening. Um, <laughs> I was right. an attorney, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the number one condition Actually, is that would be too <laughs> uh, Ronnie and Arnie, I believe. Uh, they uh, they agree there will be no more pets. That this is not going to lead to dogs, cats, horses, anything. This is it. Till they leave home, which will probably be when they're about fourteen. Yeah, <laughs> the way things are going. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> this man's an animal. Time to go. Take take Fluffy with you. Take a couple of his action figures with him. <laughs> <stuff. laughs> Take a 68 Batman with it. It'll kill him. They wondered, actually, if one of the action figures could ride on the hamster. And although that sounded like a funny experiment, I said, no, that we can't. You know, the action what, a, what do you think? Bizarre toys? Well, then it would smell. The, the room already smells like Lincoln Park Zoo. It's, we got it last night at 7. Right, the cedar chips. It's a combination of cedar chips, 
and the fact that there's an animal living in there, it, it just, it <laughs> already have, smells. They do have a bit of a mustache. Oh, my God, immediately. Yeah. When the door opened. You they just smell went. like mink. There was a mink farm near where I grew up in northern Wisconsin. Oh, mean, smelly animals until you make them a coat. <laughs> that touch of mink. Well, did I do the right thing? Where? In, in, when, uh, in, getting, here? in getting this in animal? Name and act, and we'll tell you. <laughs> I'm the closest one here to being with Bill that I hate pets, too, so... Uh. Why don't you stick a wheel on a knife? I don't know that you can. Uh, it's, all, it's all attached. It's all one big... No, it's not. It's like an apartment. There's an upstairs and a downstairs, and I think that wheel comes in. Yeah, otherwise... Or you can lock the wheel down. So it goes running out of it, goes, runs up, hits the top, and then falls back down. <laughs> the wheel... Would you draw a schematic of that for me? Because I wouldn't mind trying that. The wheel's supposed to keep the hamster healthy mentally and physically. You don't want it to live forever. Get the wheel out of there. You want it sluggish with a heart disease. Right, you want the Homer Simpson of hamsters, is what you right. want. Well, they explain that he did butter. There's different kinds of wood chips. <laughs> Bring a butter in on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The hamster enjoys butter. My God, look at how silky its coat is. There's different kinds of wood chips, and they said they're, that one of them is really lethal to a pet. And I don't remember which one, but I said, you know, it's Get more that one. that's the one we want. Please. The girls have a schedule of, do they know that the cage needs to be clean? Uh, I, I hope so. It's all, it's, so, it's all so new right now. But get a shop back and get it to them. Just leave the hamster in there, tell them. It's about a week. <laughs> It'll be strained out through the bars, honey, but you can just <laughs> vacuum out the chips from under it. <laughs> How much was the whole deal? Uh, it was, the whole thing was done, and this will sound insane when you hear, but the whole thing was done for under $100. Well, that's not very good. How much is a hamster? I think they run about 35 so, But with then with the cage, bells and whistles, yeah, yeah, right. with extras. Oh, if you get a bells and whistles, he'll be up all night. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> did, uh, uh, so, I mean, you heard it going off. Were you up all night? Uh, yeah, it, it woke me up, I would say, honestly, 10 times during the night. Oh, so it just, the wheel just continues to go and go and go. Uh, what yeah. about the kids? Were they awake all night? No. Nope. Slept like babies. you got to start drinking, Bill. Yeah, you did. Be what does it. Kids! <laughs> I was trying to bluff. Pretty good. He's pouring vodka on his cornflakes. You did this to me. Well, what, um, I, by the way, I have huge... Wait, wait, how do the kids, I want to know how the kids react to it. They are thrilled. Yeah, the happiest they've, they've ever been. Did you ever think about doing something for your kids as opposed to, uh, you know, everything? Yeah, I've thought about it, but it doesn't always play out that way, but I've thought about it, yeah. But I did that this is, you know, this is 100% for them, of course. I'm not getting anything out of this except no sleep. Okay, so you know what? I got an idea. I got an idea. You put a blanket over the cage during the day. So I think it's night during the day. And then put a, shine a light in the cage at night so the thing thinks it's daytime. I don't know that that works. There, there was a little time yesterday where they did cover the cage. And the animal did the of course. It's a robe. I don't care. The, the, the animal did ran faster. I got to get the hell out of here. Listening to the Rokon Show on WLX. Father of the Year, man. I think so. Father of the Year. Close to cloudy 48 tonight. 72 with a chance of showers tomorrow afternoon. Christina? We're on Bloomingdale, Army Trail Road, and Glen Ellen Road, an accident. No on Cicero and Southwest Highway, an accident. In Buffalo Grove, half day road still blocked between 83 and Buffalo Grove Road with an accident. Eastbound side of 8094. Uh, it's going to be heavy from uh, way before the Ford Freeway to before the state line. So an accident there in the right lane, causing the south end of the southbound tri-state. And outbound Ford Freeway to be a nightmare. The inbound east is 50, outbound 25, outbound Kennedy crash in two right lanes in the Hubbard Street Tunnel. 25 out to O'Hare, 38 in. Your Eisenhower outbound okay, inbound still about 55 minutes. Stevenson outbound's good, inbound 38 minutes north-south of the Lakeshore Drive in the Dan Ryan 35 out to 95th. I'm Christina Filiagi with WLS Traffic. Being ahead of a small company is everything from fixing the fax machine to making a deal with a large retailer that's going to buy lots of your products. Julie Tucker and Jennifer Elias, founders of Smart Score Games. There would be times when Julie would just go out in her truck and take games over to this little store and help them out and help us out. It was never any questions asked. She would just go and do it. I'm so generous. Christmas is a very important season for us, and we need to pay our printers before we get paid by our customers. So we have a cash flow shortage, and getting a line of credit to help with that cash flow from America Express has been instrumental in allowing us to grow our business. 
open arms and how small business owners approach their customers and how American Express raised Jen and Julie's credit line overnight during peak season. To see how American Express can serve your business, visit open.com or call 800-NOW-OPEN. Not all card members qualify for an increase. Terms and conditions apply. It's too high. It's too
I'll write that down, electricityiq.com. I feel more powerful already. Make an informed electricity choice. Visit electricityiq.com or call 1-866-237-POWER. That's 1-866-237-POWER. Constellation New Energy, the way energy works for your business. <laughs> That does it for another day of broadcast excellence or influence or whatever the hell this is. I want to thank Vincente Fox for stopping by. I think that uh, we have a much clearer, better understanding of what's going on down in Mexico than we did uh, five hours ago. Uh, or at least we'll be hearing from the Mexican consulate, certainly. Uh, tomorrow on the program, actually, uh, look at that website, uh, that badjocks.com website tomorrow. There's going to be more pictures from more universities. We'll talk about that then. Sean Hanny comes your way next. Have a great night. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. Chicago's Talk Station, 890 AM. From ABC News, I'm Gil Gross. 24 hours later, here's where reaction stands to the president's speech on illegal immigration. The Senate has backed his idea of trying to tackle all of the issues, not just border security. But over in the House, Republican Congressman Dana Rohrabacher of California said Mr. Bush has made the situation worse. Speaking out in favor of a guest worker program is Cardinal Roger Mahoney. In an interview with ABC's Elizabeth Vargas in Los Angeles, he said you have to deal with more than border security. What are we supposed to do then with 12 million people? I mean, let, let's face it, is the government going to go pick them up? How are we going to find 12 million people and get them out of the country? is isn't going to happen problem the president may have getting the House to come around to that point of view is that members of Congress may be running away from him in this election year. A new ABC News Washington Post poll shows Mr. Bush with only a 33% approval rate, give or take three points. And ABC chief Washington correspondent George Stephanopoulos says that sends shivers through the House. Historically, the president's approval rating uh, is, is the greatest indicator of what's going to happen in those midterm elections. When an incumbent president is doing well, his party does well. When an incumbent president is doing poor his party does poorly. Mr. Bush was asked today about the NSA, and most who heard him thought he was confirming the collection of people's phone records. The program he's asking about is one that has been fully briefed to members of the United States Congress in both political parties. They're very aware of what is taking place. But new White House spokesman Tony Snow says Mr. Bush was talking about a previously leaked NSA operation. If you go back and listen to the answer he gave, he was talking about foreign to domestic calls. The allegations in the USA Today piece, which we will neither confirm or deny, are of a different nature. So, no, he was not giving you backhanded uh, confirmation. And, by the way, Verizon and Bell South are denying USA Today's allegations that they gave those phone records to the NSA. ABC Money Scope, the Dow and the NASDAQ both fell nine points today. You're listening to ABC News. I've tried everything in my shower. I have to get in there to scrub, and there's not even enough space for me to do it. I really didn't think it was going to perform well. Our shower is so hard to keep clean, a lot of mold and mildew. I thought, how can that work? But it does. Not sure the new Scrubbing Bubbles automatic shower cleaner will work for you? Keep listening, because neither were these folks. I push the button, bam, boom, and it's ready to go. There's no soap scum left. Yeah, it gets the mildew stains out. It's official. Scrubbing Bubbles Automatic Shower Cleaner can clean a dirty shower in days and keep it clean with daily use. Just press the button every day after the last shower and it does the rest, covering your entire shower with a powerful new formula that cleans away soap scum, mold, and mildew stains. It's made a difference. It smells cleaner, looks cleaner. I'm cleaning my shower every day, just not on my hands and knees like I used to. Isn't it time you tried the new Scrubbing Bubbles Automatic Shower Cleaner? It's like having a maid for your shower. S.C. Johnson, a family company. <laughs> yep, easy is good. Get a $5 off coupon at AutomaticShowerCleaner.com. WMS News Time, 703. I'm Jim Moran. Partly cloudy overnight tonight. We'll dip into the 40s. News sponsored by Sylvan Learning Centers. Whether your child needs to catch up, keep up, or get ahead in school, Sylvan Learning Center can help with personalized tutoring to meet your child's individual needs. Call Sylvan today at 1-800-EDUCATE. The Chicago police tonight still talking with a man who is believed to have stabbed his boss to death this morning at his Northwest Side Construction Company. Suspect had reportedly received a bad work review. Meantime, the man who many say blew the whistle on Chicago, Chicago's hired truck scandal has filed a civil rights lawsuit against the city. Pat McDonough says his civil rights were violated when he was fired. The firing is 
since been reversed by the city's personnel board. WLS is the talk station with frequent traffic updates. Pretty heavy still inbound on the Edens, 47 minutes. Lake Hook to the Kennedy. Kennedy outbound of trash at the Hubbard Street Tunnel, 25 downtown to O'Hare. Inbound Eisenhower, 55 from the North South Pole. Just out of the Sean Hannity Show, the official WLS three-day forecast from the National Weather Service. Partly cloudy tonight, a low 48, and afternoon thunderstorm tomorrow, high of 72. Rain possible again Thursday, high of 62. Right now, 64 at O'Hare, 56 along Chicago's lakefront. News also sponsored by Menards. Race fans head to Menards, win a trip for two to the AT&T 250 NASCAR Bush Series race, June 24th at the Milwaukee Mile. Register at Menards. WLS is the talk station that keeps you informed. Next news update at 8. Breaking news when it happens. I'm Jim Moran, WLS News. Thatcher Oaks, Chicago Land's largest awning company, is having a part. And you're invited to come to Thatcher Oaks Retractable Awnings this Saturday and Sunday for our countdown to summer cookout sale. Unheard of prices, unheard of savings. A Thatcher Retractable starts at only $995 and will make the most of your outdoor space while keeping your home cooler on hot summer days and saving the party when it rains. Thatcher Retractables are available in over 100 choices of color and pattern. Protect your family with a Thatcher Retractable made with Sunbrella fabric recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation to protect against harmful UV rays. Isn't it time to bring the party home? Now you can with a Thatcher Retractable Awning. Visit Thatcher Oaks this Saturday and Sunday at Elmhurst at 718 Industrial Drive, just off York Road. Look for the balloons and keep your windows open to smell the barbecue. Coming from the Thatcher Retractable's countdown to summer cookout sale. It's time to roll out a vacation in your backyard with a Thatcher Retractable Awning. Thatcher Oaks, protecting Chicago land from the elements since 1984. Hurry, sale and Sunday. Stevens, we're about to start the meeting, so hold. 800. Oh, wow. Boss, I'll be right there. You know, I've never seen anyone lift one of our desks over their head like that before. You've gotten quite huge, haven't you? Thanks. But no, no, I mean, you're about 200 pounds bigger than you used to be. Well, ever since I started using FedEx Kinko's office and print centers for our business needs, it's given me a lot of free time. Instead of running all over town, I can get our copying, printing, faxing, computer rentals, and signs and banners all made in one place. So I figured I'd use the spare time to take up bodybuilding. So FedEx Kinko's can handle just about all of our office and printing needs. Is that an approved dress shirt, Stevens? Uh, no, none of them actually fit me anymore, sir, since I developed a size 93 chest. Uh, this is actually a bed sheet. Hey, can you hand me that protein shake? Y you mean this, this bucket? Yeah, I'm supposed to drink one of those every ten minutes. All right, have at it. FedEx Kinko's has everything you need to make your small business not so small. Stop by one of over 50 Chicagoland FedEx Kinko's locations today. FedEx Kinko's. Our office is your office. John and Roma deliver the inside story mornings 5 to 9. Ambassador to the United Nations, John Bolton. We think the oil for food scandal really tells you all you need to know about the culture here in the U.S. Your news director, Steve Scott, was here last fall. He saw some of the evidence. Well, the Pentagon spokeswoman, Tori Clark, how would you have advised the vice president? I would have advocated him being out there saying this is what happened, and we wouldn't be having this conversation today. What a waste of time. 890 AM, WLS. This hour of segment is sponsored in part by Lennox Financial. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. Chicago's talk station, 890 AM WLS.
part of the program. I'm just sitting here, I'm chomping at the bit all day. I'm just, I've been up since 6.30 and I can't, I, can't, I just can't wait to be here. Um, we have made you a promise and that's the best and the hardest hitting and the most comprehensive news and information available on your radio dial. Let me give you a quick summary of some of the things we have today. Secretary of Homeland Security Michael Chernoff and I will discuss the President's speech last night and discuss Homeland Security and immigration and the borders. We'll check in with uh, Senator George Allen today. Now, I have no doubt Dick Morris will view this through the prism of demographics, but he gives an interesting perspective. We'll talk about the politics of the President's speech with Dick Morris. Uh, and also, explosive developments in the uh, Duke rape case. Is there now more evidence that the accuser is inconsistent in her story. We've got all the explosive details with our panel and Michael Bodden and Megan Kendall and Kimberly Guilfoyle coming up. Um, let me, uh, I want to break this down as simply as I can here. And I've been reading your emails from last night till today. I did predict that the president stayed with guest worker, stayed with, well, let's just call it for the sake of this discussion, amnesty light in any way, uh, it would not go over well with the base, and according to your emails, I am not wrong in my prediction. Uh, while I agree with much of the sentiment expressed, I want to bring a new perspective to this, and I want to give you some analysis, and I want to break it down a different way, and then I'm going to go into the President's speech in detail, because there's a lot, there's a lot to look at here that I've heard nobody talk about. Let me start today with the positive side of things. You know, in life we have this tendency, we're always looking at the negative, always looking at the negative. I want to put this in perspective. We have desperately needed to address the issue of illegal immigration for nearly two decades. Desperately. It is the number one area of vulnerability this country has to attack. This is not an insignificant issue. It's one of the most important issues we will deal with in terms of the future of this country for our children and grandchildren. Now, let me point out that once again, it is conservatives in this country. Conservatives have been a positive catalyst for change. Conservatives are leading all movement towards change that I see in this country. The conservative movement is the movement of positive ideas. It started with Reagan, it started with Newt's contract with America. In many ways, it is leading the effort in the war on terror. It understands the need for economic growth through tax cuts and stimulating the economy. Conservatives have the ideas of today. Conservatives have better ideas for the future. We've said this many, many times. Now, because of um, political reasons, obvious political reasons, because immigration is really a very simple issue. It's only complicated by politics. It's only po complicated by special interest groups. What the American people want, what is best for this country, is to secure the borders of this country and regulate the inflow of aliens who wish to come here. These are two objectives of a very rational, smart, secure immigration policy. The only difficulty here is politicians, both parties, and Democrats are far worse than Republicans, and I'll explain that later. They're not thinking about what's in the best interest of the country. They have failed to do what is basic, and that is secure our borders. They have failed to control and regulate immigration. Now they claim they want to fix it, and they want to do it in ways that I think ultimately are not going to be in the best interest of the country. But here's the positive side of this, and this is not insignificant. The only reason this is now happening, the only reason we are debating this issue is because conservatives have led the effort. Conservatives have had a vision. We have been far, way ahead of these politicians in seeing the necessity to deal with this issue. It is not insignificant to point this out. It was the same thing about Harriet Myers. It's the same thing about demanding the tax cuts be extended and be made permanent. It is the same thing conservatives were upset about the Dubai ports issue. And you are having an impact. That is the single most positive development that I see in this country. That people from the bottom up are affecting what our elected officials are finally doing. We have a voice. It's our vision that is driving the agenda, albeit not perfect at this particular moment. Now, I don't think if it wasn't for conservatives, this issue wouldn't be addressed. Let me give you a 
From the president's address last night, do you think if it weren't for conservatives, we would not have heard a president say that we must secure our borders? Last night, the president said, because of conservative opposition and conservative voices getting louder, the president said the U.S. does not have full control of its borders. I plan to change that. Were it not for conservatives leading the way, the president wouldn't have said that there is pressure on our schools and hospitals and how we're straining local and state budgets, how we're bringing crime to our communities. We wouldn't have heard the president say we're a nation of laws. We must enforce our laws. I doubt it if it weren't for conservatives leading the way and pointing out the significance of this issue. I doubt the president would have said the border must be shut to illegal immigrants, drug dealers, criminals, terrorists. I doubt the president would have said that he's going to double the size of the Border Patrol during his presidency. Were it not for conservative pressure, were it not for conservatives pressuring, would the president not have said that we're going to launch the most technologically advanced border security in history, that we're going to build new patrol roads, construct high-tech fences, that we're going to, you know, use motor sensors and infrared and unmanned vehicle drones, etc. I doubt we would have heard that 6,000 National Guardsmen are going to the borders were it but for conservative voices. I think conservatives were the impetus for 6,000 new border agents to be hired. The biggest, most positive thing I take out of the, the President's speech last night is that conservatives are leading the agenda in this country and our voices have been heard. The issue is now being engaged, finally, and the debate is now underway. Now, with that said, what we are hearing, what was being proposed last night, what is being proposed in the Senate, doesn't need to be the final outcome. Because I think my biggest concern, my biggest criticism of this whole issue is I don't understand why we must deal with this in, quote, a comprehensive way. You know, who's to say that we can't secure our borders first and debate issues over amnesty and guest worker programs later? Why does it all have to be done at once? What would be so bad if it weren't done at once? You know, I, I've been saying now for weeks, I think the first goal we ought to have is simple. Secure our nation's borders, and then we can debate what to do with 12 million people. Then what we can debate what to do with a temporary guest worker program. All the polls show that the American people want the border secure. Now, here's where it gets complicated. And the devil is in the details, and I'll get to this when we get back. There is a comprehensive Heritage Foundation study out that basically concludes that the Senate immigration bill, the new bill being discussed, this is the Hagel-Martinez bill, would allow 100 million new legal immigrants over the next 20 years into this country, and it may be more depending on how many family members come with the people that come here. It is a number that I don't believe could be sustained by any country at any time in history. And we've got to examine the details of what ultimately happens here. But the good news is, whatever you don't like about what the president said, whatever you agree with what the president said, now is the time and the moment and the window of opportunity to let your congressmen, your elected officials, to let your senators, and let anybody that wants to listen hear about what changes specifically need to be made. The debate basically is just beginning is what I'm saying here. It's not that this is it, there's no negotiation, there's no lobbying, there's no, you know, case to be made. That's just the opposite is true. We now begin to make our case that we've got to secure the borders. That 6,000 is probably a good start, but maybe we need 18 or 30,000 new border agents. Anyway, I'll hit this when we get back. We've got a lot more coverage today. Uh, we'll also get full and complete coverage with Secretary of Homeland Security Michael Chertoff. Senator George Allen will be with us today to talk about the Hagel-Martinez bill. And we'll get Dick Morris weighing in on the politics of all of this. And we also have explosive new developments in the Duke case, and we'll have our Duke panel on the program today. Busy day on the Sean Hannity Show. We need all three hours. We hope you'll be with us as we continue. Log on to Hannity.com for the Hanging with Hannity sweepstakes presented by Microtel Inns and Suites. And you and a guest can win an all-expense-paid trip to the Big Apple to hang out with me, Sean Hannity, in person. What could be better than this? Just log on to Hannity.com today. Sean Hannity. Hannity and WLS. Why do I like working for Verizon Wireless? Well, my job is turning ideas into reality. 
all those new features like video on your cell phone that you show your friends, that's my team bringing it to you. So what's not to like? But the best part is that here, it's not just a job, it's a career. With great training and tuition reimbursement, Verizon Wireless and I grow together. I'm Brian Williams, technology development engineer. Our people, our network, Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Travelocity presents the Roaming Gnome, denouncer of travel myths. First myth, only high rollers can afford the most popular Vegas shows. Nonsense. Travelocity has exclusive deals on the hottest shows and Flight Plus Hotel savings. Myth two, the roulette wheel is not a rock. Yes, it is. Whee! The best of Vegas for less. Visit Travelocity.com slash Vegas or AOL keyword travel for details. Restrictions apply. Travelocity, you'll never roam alone. I want to let you in on a little secret, but before I do, could all you car dealers, bankers, and credit card companies switch over to the old Sappy Love Songs All Day Long Station? Good. For the rest of you, here's the secret. FreeCreditReport.com. If you know your credit score going in, you may be able to cut a better deal on car loans, refines, even credit cards. And you'll find your free credit score and report at FreeCreditReport.com. That's the secret. Get your free credit score and report with enrollment and triple advantage at FreeCreditReport.com. Get the score. You have allergies. You discover new Aliver Citrus Burst. The instant it touches your tongue, it bursts into action. And you know allergy relief is on its way. New Aliver Citrus Burst is non-drowsy 24-hour relief in a great-tasting, quick-dissolving tablet. Get the allergy relief you need to keep going. Try new quick-dissolving Aliver Citrus Burst. Experience the relief. Use as directed. You probably didn't stay up last night worrying about name badges, business cards, signs, CD labels, presentation binders, and dividers. But one of these days, your boss is going to call you and say, Thompson, we got 50 sales reps for a meeting next Monday, and we need to put on a dog and pony show for them. Well, that's when you start worrying about name badges, business cards, signs, CD labels, binders, dividers, and everything else that's supposed to be in your meeting. Relax. There's an answer to all your worries. Avery Meeting and Event Products. Avery makes hundreds of products so you can find exactly what you need. There's even an easy design and print tool that helps you design and print every one of those great looking pieces and make them all look totally coordinated. It's available online for free. You can see everything Avery makes that can help you put on a great meeting at Avery.com. Avery Meeting and Event Products. They look great, they're easy to use, and you'll never worry about a meeting again. Avery. Available at Staples or wherever you buy office products. Dogs. You've got to love them, but they don't always make it easy. If you're thinking of bringing a puppy into your family, let Sherry Linker from Michigan help you start off on the right paw. She's been training your neighbor's dogs in the Chicagoland area for the past 16 years. The results were so impressive, her clients encouraged her to write a series of books, and lucky for you, she did. Just released for only $7.95, you want to order How to Keep from Ruining Your Dog in the First 30 Days. This book will help anyone who's considering getting a puppy, or has just 